Okay, since making that video, or it was on my computer, I ended up finding the app. Creality got back with me. It isn't an app. If you guys watched uh, my review on the ferret through the computer, um, it was awful. It just turned out awful. And on Creality's website, there is Windows 10 and 11 download, and right next to it, I thought that was for... Android computers because there is Android computers out there that's actually the file you need to download onto your phone and then it then you extract it under your downloaded files and then it adds an app straight to your phone just like a normal app even puts it on your home screen so now I have the app just like everybody else does I have a turntable and I have the devices that I originally did the video on and I have the battery, which is up there right now, and the spray bottle, which was a little bit reflective, but I went ahead and used some dry shampoo, and I didn't get any different result on the computer scans. And uh, for the piece, the phone scans, though, I'll show you guys this. This is impressive, but I'm using the GoPro instead of a... Instead of a run it through here because you plug your phone in and I think it would take my audio from there. And I really don't want to put too much more time into this. So right there it says perfect hold on. Perfect hold on. I'll just show you guys a little bit of stuff. Hold on. Okay. So right there's the app. Looks just like it's supposed to. You click on it after you install it. And then you wouldn't normally see that. You see this screen, which hopefully you guys can see it good. I didn't have to make an account or nothing. These are previous things I've done. Here's a shoe that just turned out amazing. And I'm gonna go through one process because I'm gonna take a thousand photos of probably this, because I haven't done it yet. Because it does take a little bit longer on your phone than it would a computer. But um, the shoe, it didn't have the inside done. It didn't have half of the one side done. And I told it to fill in the mesh, and it did an amazing job whenever it decides to load. My phone does look orange, sorry. Let me shut that off. Just for you guys there. The eye comfort. I like my eye comfort thing on. There is a shoe. And it did amazing. And the shoe actually has that little weird colors right there. But it did not get the shoelaces, and somehow it did alright with the shoelaces. And then it did not get this whole part of the shoe right here. And it filled it in and even added the color. And I don't think it did too bad. Definitely did the curvature. And then somehow I didn't do the bottom of the shoe. And it just added whatever for the bottom. But I think it did really good on that shoe. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Put something underneath here so I don't have to keep holding this. Okay. We're using a turntable, automated turntable. It says perfect hold on. Let's go ahead and start it. Down at the bottom left, it'll show you how many frames I'm pulling. Now it says it's out of distance. Perfect. We're going to make it turn as slow as I can possibly get it. There we go. It messed up, so I'm going to tell the turntable to turn back around. Let snap a few photos there. Let's just go ahead and go the opposite direction. I've already scanned this in once, and it did an awful job. But if you're comparing this to what it did on the computer, it's really getting it down. And I do not have spray on it, so it's just... Just want to sit there a little bit. I'm getting a lot of red down there, which means my color 
or uh, my lighting is a bit messed up. Sorry for all the beeping. But I do like uh, knowing it reads this. Why don't I like this side? I mean, I gotta pull it back a little bit. Come on, just take that picture and build that. See, I wanted to build that bottom part. Let's kick a light on and see if it makes a difference. No. Just gonna let it go clear around to the front. There, right, it's got the front. does not like to get this side over here there we go that build a little bit of it there we go it's got the whole thing now if I just leave it on rotation for uh, a couple spins now their software does not let you add multiple slices and then put it all together instead they want to put them together for you so you're supposed to push the pause button right here on the right side and then flip the object upright and then scan some more and we're gonna let it get to a thousand thousand frames once we get to 700 we'll reverse it and go the opposite direction i did have this on texture so hopefully it's getting the detail of where the battery slides in um, I don't think it does very good on the slits. Okay, there we go. Let's turn it and make it go the other way. So much nicer having a automatic turntable. Let's let it go one more round, even if it does go over a thousand. Solid green right there. It's nice to see. Now I did not do the top. Let's see what it does. If it's just going to totally enclose that. And there we go, there's a full turn. That turned out really nice. Obviously I can move it around a little bit and it should fill in them spots. Now I'm gonna do this in real time. I'm not gonna skip this video ahead or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and take that device off and put on the bottle if you guys watch my video on the computer the bottle just turned out awful on the computer at least
this is uh, processing on a Samsung Galaxy S25 G whatever that is to you and it's not on battery saver mode or anything so this is just how long it's gonna take but if you guys watch my video on how long the computer took to do the computer is quick but um, it couldn't even find this object for some reason the phone and its software finds it no problem does need some work if you really want this battery to slide in fall asleep So if you guys watched and haven't skipped past me talking right now, if you guys watched again the video of me doing the computer, I ended up scanning it and you know how there's a couple slots right there. I did a, a test on it and I printed, I 3D scanned this with the computer because it's about all it could find for some reason. And then I took the computer and I printed that and it actually lined up perfect with this. Ah, I must have hit meshing with my finger. Okay, so now it's going to mesh it all together and hopefully make it a solid. I'm sure it's got the shape right. Once it's done meshing, you can take that and put it in the Evo shaper or something like that. I don't know what it is. It's whatever the Pop Series scanners use. You can use their studio, but it does not allow you to use their scanner app because you do not have their scanner but their studio works pretty good now the studio for Creality it's only for the lizard system right now it does not support this so you can't even edit this much and then once you put it through that editor then you can take it and put it through Tinkercad and add whatever you need to and then it can go to your Cura or you can go straight from this and take it to Cura it's an S well I may I told it to do an STL file on this so it's ready right after this but I'm sure this is not how you want it with this ring around here and I found it's easier to use a turntable and carpet around the turntable because it blacks out the turntable but then when you're post editing you can delete the carpet really easy because the carpet is way out there if you're just trying it on a piece of paper, the piece of paper is too small or your cardboard box is too small. Now we're going to try. Oh my gosh, now I added the box or it added to the turntable. I don't know if you guys can see how uh, chunky crappy that is. But again, I only ran a. 1,028 frames, 1,128 frames. Did really good on the detail on the front. It does indicate that it's a half shell case because there's two halves to the case. So some of it's good, some of it's bad. Spend more time on it. What'd it do for the underneath? It just made it totally solid. So with some trimming, you could probably get that close. Except the top was totally messed up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this on to our next device. I'm going to hit scan. You guys can't see it yet. I'm going to get all tallied in before I... Now I just want the top of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. 
Okay, it's saying perfect. Hold on, but the sensors are going ape shit. Okay. Trying to get you guys all set up here. Sorry. You're on a tripod, but the tripod don't go this small. Can you guys see that far away? Okay. So it's saying perfect. Hold on. But that's red, so that means the lighting's wrong or something. But it says perfect, so let's see what it does. Now we had awful success with this on the computer. First try. See if it gets the back side. Nice. Did you guys just see how easy it did it? Now on the computer, it would not do that. I'm going to pause it when it gets to the back because I don't think it got like the back hook area. Let it sit there for a little bit and take some right there. So I don't think it's getting the top part. It's only shooting down here, but that's all right. Let's see if I can spin that thing at full speed. Nope. And this will also help because we've already seen it build it. This should flip around and go on there. It just built two nozzles. Even though there's one. In most software, you could change this by yourself, but their software does not let you do it. You can click on manual, but on your phone, it's really weird. Get to a thousand frames again. We're at 750. It's showing that this part isn't green, so it should figure it out. Okay, I'm just going to leave it right like that. See if it takes any more frames. Nope. I'm trying to get to that thousand. There we go. 1,000. 1,013. 1,014 was the finale. I'm going to move the bottle off of there now. There was no spray on this. And it's nearly see-through. It's kind of see-through. I guess to a laser or infrared it would be different. And at this point, if you wanted, you can actually unplug all this stuff. So far, I haven't really seen it charging my phone. No, it's not charging my phone at all. So I don't know what this, if it really, it's going down, so it must be doing something. So this thing must bypass the phone and just power this, and then your phone's on its own. Because my phone says nothing about charging. It's actually dropped a ton since making this video. I guess it is processing a lot. Let's go ahead and put this lower on the ground. Now 
we'll just sit and let that process. I'm gonna go charge up my table. cleaner thought it was a good time to start cleaning the house every time I make a video if you guys watch my videos every single time I make a video my darn vacuum takes off and starts cleaning the house no Again, it's supposed to make it into one nozzle, not two. We shall see. I'm also going to tell it to fill in all the meshing, all the gaps. Which I think it's doing it by itself. So over here we have mesh fill in, and I accidentally told it to do a PLA PLY file, and it kept two halves. Hold down the center, and it never got the top. Even though it scanned the, f what's this? Even though it scanned directly on, it never put a tip on there. Can I change that? I like to keep an S hole filling and closure. It's supposed to close it all up so it's a solid object and it's going to fill in all the holes. Let's go ahead and let it do that, I guess. So, right now, this is a total error. Hopefully, it fixes it, but um, that would have been a problem. You would have had to rescan the whole object if it doesn't fix it because this app doesn't let you fix it. And it's all done. It's a solid object. See how it does have the details. Not too bad on the details there. But this is more of a learning curve. Yeah, hopefully that helps somebody out. And then you click done and it's on there. Then you can share it with whatever you want. I send mine to my computer through OneDrive. And then it's on there when I turn on my computer and I can have an STL file. Or whatever file I want. This is actually one I did without a turntable and it totally failed. <laughs> hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.